All right, let's combine uh, a problem that, uh, or a combine two concepts in one problem. Notice this says, says 6.2 milliliters of a 6 molar solution of potassium hydroxide is diluted to 50 milliliters. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to dilute this, this solution. And then we're going to figure out the pH of the dilute solution. So this is going to be a little bit more involved. We're diluting it, and then we're going to measure the pH. But it's tricky because this is a base. So there's going to be an additional step, because remember, in order to figure out the pH, we're going to need to know the hydrogen ion concentration, not the hydroxide ion concentration. So we would expect, regardless, even though this is being diluted, that the pH is still going to be above 7, because this is a basic solution. So let's first do the dilution, then we'll figure out the pH. So we remember we, we use... Uh, the molarity of the concentrated solution times the volume of the concentrated solution is equal to the molarity of the dilute solution times the volume of the dilute solution. Okay. So we're going to plug these in and we know the molarity of the concentrated solu solution is 6.0 molar. The volume up here is 6 0.2 milliliters, and that's equal to the molarity of the dilute, which we don't know, times the volume of the dilute, which we do, which is 50.0 milliliters. So my first job is to figure out, okay, what's the molarity of this dilute solution? So I'm going to go ahead and calculate it. Remember, if I do the little algebraic rearrangement, the molarity of the dilute solution is equal to 6.0 molar times 6.2 milliliters. Remember all that algebra that you thought you'd never need? All right, now we got to divide it both sides by 50 milliliters. Okay, so the molarity is equal to, use our handy dandy calculator, 6.0 times 6.2 divided by 50 equals 0.744 and we're good to two sig figs so that's going to be 0 0.74 74 molar okay and that's that's a reasonable number it started out at 6 and we diluted it with 50 so it's it's less than 6 0.744 now also or 74 remember this is a potassium hydroxide solution so this concentration here is also the same as the hydroxide ion concentration because this is potassium hydroxide and there's one mole of hydroxide for every mole of potassium hydroxide so this is the concentration of the potassium hydroxide and the concentration of the hydroxide ion so in order to figure out the pH remember the pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration well in order to figure out pH, we're going to need to know the hydrogen ion concentration. Well, if you remember, the um, hydroxide ion concentration times the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Okay. So we can go ahead and rearrange this thing or, or and put in some numbers that we know. We know that the hydroxide ion concentration is 0.74, so I'm going to say point 74 molar times the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Okay. So now I need to do my algebra and I know that uh, my hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 0.74. Now before I continue, what should my hydrogen ion concentration be? Is this an acid or a base? It's a base. So I'm going to expect a hydrogen concentration less than 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. Something smaller than 10 to the minus 7. Okay, well we'll see. Let's go ahead and calculate this. 1.0 EXP use my EXP or my EE key. This calculator has an EXP key. Times 10 to the minus 14, so I put in 14 and then make it negative. 
divided by 0.74 equals. So my hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.4 times 10 to the minus 14. All right, that's smaller than 10 to the minus 7. So we're reasonable. Always apply these checks. So now, let's go ahead and figure out our pH. So the pH, remember, is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So I'm going to go ahead and say, oh, it's the negative log of 1.4 times 10 to the minus 14. 1.4 times 10 to the minus 14. Okay. So let's go ahead and, I already have that number in here. I'm going to go ahead and hit log. Sometimes you press log first, then the number, the number, then log. Depends on your calculator. This one, you put the number in first, then hit log. Notice it's right there. My log key was, I used the 10 to the x key before at times, but this is my log key, so I don't have to hit second function or anything like that. So I just hit log. And what do I get? Oh, 13.8. Okay, or 13.9. So we're good to a couple of sig figs. So we'll just say uh, the pH is equal to 13.9. Now notice it's negative here, but remember it's the negative of a negative. So that means it's positive. And we expected this pH to be above 7. And we expected um, the hydrogen ion concentration to be below 10 to the minus 7. So we're in good shape. There's our answer. A little bit more involved with the two steps.